form of personal uh, you know, identity. It's my brand. It's a movement, yeah. It's just a transition of a modern day boy to a man. For a very long time, beards have been associated with some religions or old men, especially in Africa. And for those with grey hair, beards came with responsibilities like solving conflicts since they were considered wise. There's no doubt that beards are now more fashionable than ever, especially with the youth. So many men are growing beards, not just because of November, but they're just growing because it's a, it's a fashion statement. It's... So, when I was a kid, I was a kid from the US, I was a kid from the US. So, I was a kid from the US, I was a kid from the US. And when I was a kid, and when I was a kid, I was a kid from the US, and I was a kid from the US. Apart from fashion, others actually keep beards for personal reasons. I want to be taken seriously. That was the first main idea why to have a beard. Mm -hmm. Because if you look like 15 and you have to work with editors and all that, higher ups, they will never take you seriously. This kind of you know, beard look suits me better because they don't have hair. So for some other person, maybe it would be just nice to have the moustache. I always looked at my grandfather and I saw this full beard and uh, a bald head. And I always knew one day when I get older, I will pull that stud. I can't say I'm part of the beard gang. I just like keeping my beard because I find it easier to maintain than going to shave after every two weeks. Keeping aware in the beard is an act of sunnah, a voluntary act, which is highly recommended for Muslims to keep aware. Before beards were widely accepted as a fashion style, we found out that people had some misconceptions about bearded men and were judged even by family members. Most people actually think it's an act of extremism, extremism. but far from it. It's just an act of emulating the best people before you, and that's all. 2010-2011, I was born in Kenya, and I was born in Kenya, and I was born in Al-Shabaab. I was born in Kenya, and I was born in Kenya, and I was born in the election, and I was born in the period of the MRC, and I was born in the country. So, I was born in Kenya, and 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 I was born in Kenya. And if you thought that hair expenses are only for women, shock on you. Extra blades, extra foam, there is a whole culture around it right now. And it's, it can get expensive. I don't really use anything on my beard. Uh, no enhancers, nothing that's natural. So, whether you grow a beard or not, just have fun with it. Safi Godana Mamo, Switch Focus.